everybody, it's Rez, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we are going to go ahead and do a makeup tutorial video. Um, we're going to do a jack-o'-lantern eye, a kind of glam, kind of not. Um, I'm going to do a video each day this week, hopefully, if we can do it each day this week. But we're going to push for each day this week of different things. Today will be the jack-o'-lantern tutorial. I will list the products I use down below in the description box as we go along. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and check out my other videos. Go ahead and subscribe. Become a member of my growing, chaotic, crazy life. Become a member of my little family because we have a lot of fun on my channel. Also, go ahead and follow me at Facebook.com at ResiV23, at Instagram at ResiK24. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's start this off with a little pumpkin eggnog. Who likes pumpkin spice eggnog? I sure the hell do because it is delicious and it really puts me in the... I can't even talk. It really puts me in the fall spirit and the Halloween spirit. If you like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs way, way, way up. I got some more things coming for you. Got some excited things planned, so stay tuned. So we're going to start out using the Magic Perfecting Base from L'Oreal for our eyes. Next, we're going to also take the Mevia Loca palette from Kat Von D. We're going to use the Maybelline Eye Gel Liner Master Precise Pen as well and the CoverGirl pen, um, eyeliner pen. Go ahead and just start putting all of that primer all over your eyes and make sure you got it there and even. And I got some killer dance moves coming up. Yeah, amazing. Next we're going to take a molder and we're going to do a light color all over our eyelids. Uh, not too, you don't need a lot like I said, just very light just to get it all um, like a base you know, for your eyeballs, because next we're going to take the color in analog, see, nice bright orange, and we're going to just throw it all over our eyelids, make sure it looks even, it looks good. This part is really not that hard. I actually love this orange. I have tried other orange eyeliners before and not eyeliners, eyeshadows, and this one is the best. This whole palette is worth the money, I will say. So I would definitely buy it. Yep, just gonna fix it up a little bit. Then you're gonna take the color Misfit and you're gonna rub it just at the top on the crease, as you see here. And just blend it out good, make sure it's even, make sure it looks, you know, see? Just make sure it looks nice and even and stuff. Just blending it out, making sure it looks good. And now we're going to go ahead and take um, Fran, it's a yellow color, and we're just going to put it right under the eyeballs. It's going to make it stand out, look a little more folly to me. And you don't need a lot. You could put a very, very light base on the bottom. And because I didn't get the clip in the beginning for this color, I will show you the color right now. And see, it's this nice yellow one right there. Fran. See, just under the eyes like I'm showing you. Looks nice. Go ahead and take color, CoverGirl eyeliner. Just throw it on the waterline. Don't need to go crazy with it, just a light amount to, you know, make your eyes pop. Next, go ahead and take the gel eyeliner from Maybelline and just rub it all over the eyes. Make sure you're slanted. You know, make do it how you want to do it. I'm just doing a straight line, maybe with like a little slant. Not really a cat eye. But I go in and I fix this all up with the um, Precision Eyeliner from Maybelline. And I absolutely love this eyeliner since I found it. Next, we're going to take some Too Faced Born This Way. Not Born This Way. A uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And we're going to put two coats on the eyelids. Eyelashes. Sorry. I cannot talk today. I just can't. Then we're gonna go ahead and do our mouth. I am using the gel eyeliner for this part. Um, and it works. It's a little tricky to get off, but it does work. Go ahead and just make it look like you got a mustache. <laughs> then go ahead and bring it down. I'm giving myself like these 
crazy, creepy little triangles. I'm not sure why I put this line at the bottom of my mouth, but I ended up going ahead and getting rid of it, you'll see, because I had a vision and then the vision went away and it didn't work out the way I wanted it to and it looked stupid. But I went ahead and covered, like colored it all in first before I got rid of the line, but I did get rid of it, told ya. Now I'm going ahead and making some smaller triangles as like, they look like little fangs, I guess. Not really. I'm just doing that like a creepy pumpkin kind of thing would. Then we're going to go ahead and draw a nose on our on us. I'm just going to color it all in. Still using the eyeliner, the gel eyeliner. You can use any black eyeliner you have. I didn't have any face makeup, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm going ahead and draw a couple more just to give it a little more creepier effect. But there you go. This is the finished look. This is the creepy jack-o'-lantern. If you like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs way, way, way up. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all tomorrow, guys, for another makeup tutorial. See you later. Bye.